now, you know, your collaboration with Avicii, how did that come about for Wake Me Up? Well, Avicii contacted me. He wanted to, a soul artist mm. to sing on his album. Mm. Um, and so we went to the studio with uh, Mike Einziger from Incubus, mm -hmm. who plays guitar. Jeez. And I brought these, these Sorry, lyrics. Sorry, that hit me <laughs> you said it. I, I brought these lyrics that yeah. I had written, Wake Me Up When It's All Over, When I'm Wiser and I'm Older. Mm -hmm. And um, I sang it to them, and they said it sounded great. So we yeah. recorded an acoustic demo that night. Yeah. Um, Avicii took the acoustic demo and remixed it into a dance. <laughs> to know and we know this is a bit personal but we wanted to find out why did you name your daughter Mandela? Uh, I named my daughter Mandela because my wife and I are philanthropists, we're humanitarians, mm -hmm. we are um, very socially conscious people mm -hmm. and we wanted to name her something that let her know that she was part of an international fabric mm -hmm. that um, that she can aspire to be as great and contribute to the world as much as Nelson Mandela did. Thank you so much, sir. It was yeah. a pleasure. Thank you. V Entertainment welcomes Aloe Black to the hot seat. Good morning, sir. How are you? Great. I'm well, thank you. You just performed at Opikopi. How was that? That was really fun. I had a great experience. Mm -hmm. Everybody was dancing and singing along, and that's the, the most you can ask for from an audience that may not be familiar with all the songs. Yeah. And this is your first time in South Africa, or is it your second uh, time? This is my second time in South Africa, but first time making my way to Joburg. Mm -hmm. Tell me about uh, the album Lift Your Spirit. Um, Lift Your Spirit is a an album that I created because I just wanted to make people happy. I wanted to create music that was for the purpose of celebration and joy. Mm. Um, I wanted to mix together some of the sounds of hip hop, soul, and rock that I, I really love mm -hmm. and continue to write, you know, really inspiring songs. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Now, with that, uh, you left rapping behind and decided to go full on for your vocals, which sounds incredible, by the way. What made you make that decision? Um, I decided to go into singing almost because of it was it was by chance. A record label heard one song that I was singing on. Yeah. They decided they wanted to sign me as a singer. Yeah. That was fine. Yeah. But it was also because I wasn't so interested in hip hop anymore. I wasn't interested okay. in the messages of. Um, you know, going into the club and popping champagne bottles. I wasn't interested in being a misogynist. I wasn't interested in, yeah. in being the macho guy that was killing everybody. It just didn't, it didn't speak to me and it, it didn't make sense to me. So um, I wanted to, to tell different stories. I wanted to explore different emotions through music. Um, so I, I started writing songs and started singing. Hello world, it's nice to meet you. Your music has, you know, seeped into many other spheres for, for soundtracks, for something like WWE, for adverts, for the NFL, for all kinds of things. Do you, do you sit back and that, does that surprise you? Um, you know, it, it, it's, it is surprising. I'm, I'm really happy about it. Mm. I didn't realize that my career was going to continually be um, supported by television and film um, synchronization, but it, it's something that I think about. It's like if you're making a song that really is capturing a moment or an idea or a theme, mm. film people will, will gravitate toward it. So I feel like if I can continue to make really big themes, then I'll, I'll have that kind of success in the future as well.